Hey guys, Secret of My House, bidding you welcome. It's good to be back, and this is as good as it gets. Holiday was good. Holiday was good. I took a week long cruise, went from Brisbane up to Cairns, over to Willis Island, and then back. It was a lot of fun. About halfway through, uh, the ship got. I don't know what turbulence is called on a boat, but we got turbulence and we couldn't actually get off for Cairns or Willis Island, but it was good, it was good. Um, I got a little bit sick, a lot of people were vomiting and what, no, but that's how it is. But I enjoyed it. It was really good, it was very good to get away. But I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to be back. And I've got pickups to show you guys. Playing stuff in the background. Got to turn it down a bit. Gonna shut off the volume completely, actually. Ooh, uh, one of the games I picked up just there. <laughs> Little spoilers, but I did manage to pick up two items while I was in. Uh, while I was. What was it? I managed to pick up two items while I was on the. Cruise just two. Uh, we got off at a few places, so there's various ports, and I went to a few up shops and found some cool stuff. Found some cool items. I'm actually going to put the volume back on. Sounds a bit boring with just me, but I actually managed to find a few items that didn't want to go very far, so I just went to two up shops and asked if there were any more in the area. And they said, "Yeah, there's a few." Went and checked them out. Not a whole lot. So. Really, the only two items I picked up was a PC game looked kind of cool. That. I picked it up for that game in the background. No idea what it is, but I'll fire up the old... Uh, DOS box? No, no. I'll fire up the old Windows 2000 emulator and play them. It's been a while, I don't remember what it's called. Yeah, I don't remember, but... Apart from that, I also went to another op shop, had a bunch of Xbox games, mostly stuff that I had for $4 each, I wasn't really feeling it, but... I wanted to buy something just so I could say I got some pickups on my cruise, and... For $4 I got... Kung Fu Chaos. Looks like a decent game, case is fucked. Take the thing out, it's all in there. This is in nice shape. But the case is messed, so. I've got some spare Xbox cases, it doesn't matter. And I hope I don't have this one. I can't see it, so I don't think I have it. They had two copies of this in there, which was a bit surprising. But, Kong Q Fury, looks like a cool game. And that's all I picked up on holiday. That's literally all of it. Video over. Go away. <laughs> yeah, right. Alright. Now we get to pre-holiday pickups. All of those games that you saw in the video before this. Actually, we'll turn this down. Not fully, but... There you go. I actually did get a few games that I thought were pretty cool looking. Who's there? Um, went out multiple times in the last few weeks before my holiday, just to look around. I wasn't really planning on spending money, but I thought, if I find something, I'll buy it. And it was a Wednesday, which is when this church op shop opens in my local area, just around Graceville, and it usually doesn't have anything, but it's worth stopping in there just to have a look around, and I wish I had gone in there sooner, because they probably had way more than just this, but... Managed to get these items for a dollar each, which I thought wasn't too bad. Some PlayStation 1 games that I didn't have. And I'm always adding to the PlayStation 1 collection. Still going for the full set. PlayStation Snowboarding. In a generic case, but for a buck. It's a fun game, actually. It's like a precursor to SSX. Very arcadey. We have Worms World Party in a generic case. Already got that one. For a buck. I saw it for a dollar and thought, yeah, I'll grab it, why not? Yeah, it goes to a good cause. 
And Treasures of the Deep, which, if you don't know, my copy of this game has like a bite missing out of it, so... Just to get a copy with a full disc is worth it. So that was a buck too. And then we have a full, complete copy of Wipeout, which does need to be cleaned. And I don't actually remember if I have the original Wipeout. This was one of the very early titles, like... You can see on there which game it was. It was the 10th game released for the PlayStation, so... That's cool. Good to get that. I played a few of the Wipeout games, they're fun. Uh, very full on though, difficult games. And they also had this for a buck, which I'm just gonna... Um, I know cash converters will give me $2.50 for this, so I'll just take it to them. NBA Live 09, all play. I bought it because it was there, and it was cheap. Would any of you do differently? Probably. And from there I thought, alright, I've scored in the first place, I'm gonna go everywhere. I went to uh, the RSPCA, and the St. Vincent de Paul, and the uh, Australian Red Cross, all in Sherwood. Nothing in any of them. I thought, you know what, I'm feeling good, I gotta go. I gotta continue looking. I gotta find some stuff. So I got on the train, 20 minutes, got to Goodna, and I started looking around and found something at the first place which was cash converters and then the rest of the places just just couldn't find anything so for the entire day I got that lot in this game here for three dollars at cashies which I thought was alright The Incredibles for the original Xbox it's a good game it's a good game if you haven't played it definitely try it out it's all complete in there and it's one I didn't have Alright, uh, what will I show next? This one maybe? Yeah, I'll save the biggest lot for last. Also in the last few weeks I decided to go to the uh, Fortitude Valley area just to have a look around. You know, isn't that really why we do this? Just to have a look around, see what we can find. And I managed to find a few items in the cash converters, in the op shops, so... Mm. When I went into cash converters, the Fortitude Valley cash converters has not been good to me lately. I've just... Whatever I've been finding has been scratched and in not very good shape, so I've... kind of not gone there as often, but now that I've got this stuff, I probably will try and go there at least once a fortnight just to... just to see what they have. You know, it's not too far out of the way for me, so... it's worth going just to check it out. And I went to their cash converters, not really expecting to find much because last few times I've been there didn't find anything, but <laughs> clearly they had restocked and clearly they knew I was coming because they put out the good stuff. First up, it's for a dollar, PlayStation 2 demo disc. Always looking for this one particular demo disc that has WWF Smackdown on it, SSX, and Klonoa. Always looking for a PlayStation 2 demo disc that has that. It also has... Ah, what's that game? It's like a dungeon crawler in a town building simulator. There's two of them on the PlayStation 2. I don't remember the name. Um, it's fairly well known. I'll put it down here if I can remember it. Also, for the PSP, I've been finding a lot of good PSP items late. Well, yeah, that's really cool because the PSP, that's my handheld system of choice. I've been playing a lot of it lately. I've... On the PSP, I've actually... On the cruise, I actually took my PSP with me and I started playing... Uh, Valkyria Profile Lenneth, which is a very solid RPG. It's got some very unique kind of gameplay elements to it where you have to train up a character and then send them off to battle. Like, not for you, but like to another place. And then you can, like, follow their progress. It's, it's very interesting. It's interesting. I like it. And I'm about 20 hours into that game, so... <laughs> Trust me, I was feeling not having any internet on the cruise because I would continuously get to a point in that game where... I didn't know what to do. I couldn't continue. So I would just mess around until I figured it out, and I'm like, man... These are, like, caveman times. <laughs> but... Found some PSP games. Well, a PSP game. Uh, all of that build up for a PSP game. So I found a PSP game, it was 
$2.99, round up to 3 bucks because I live in Australia and we don't have pennies. It is World War II Battle Over the Pacific. It's got a CEX sticker on it. This has come from the UK at some point. They were charging six pounds for it in... Uh, I don't know which year, but some year. But for three bucks, I thought, yeah, it's good enough. I'm not a huge fan of those flight combat games, but... You know, I can see the appeal. I like the PSP, so it's one I'll sit down, play for half an hour, get my money's worth out of it. Speaking of getting my money's worth out of it, I actually bought a game to sell. Wii Sports Resort. Three dollars. I'll get ten out of it on eBay. Always gotta be looking for something to help offset the cost of your game purchases. Uh, probably the best pickup of the last few weeks, which makes it a little anticlimactic that I'm showing it in the middle of the video, but... The Lord of the Rings, The Battle for Middle-Earth 2 for $8. Usually a bit more than I like to spend on Xbox 360 and PS3 games when they're pre-owned, but... This is a good one to get. In Australia, I believe this goes for like 30... 30... I believe it goes for at least $30, so for $8, good deal. And it's not one that I'll play. It's an RTS game. To be completely honest, I'll probably sell it on. Put the money towards something that I actually want. Now wait, I remember now, this is one I'm going to have to keep, and it's one I'm actually going to test out right now, because when I bought it, I did not realize that there were, like, little marks on the disc. And I'm not sure if they go into the data label. I'm really hoping they don't. Alright, so it seems to work. That's cool. Very good to know. I'm happy that that works. It's good. There are a few scratches on the front of the disc and I didn't know if they went into the data label or not, so... It's good to know that it works. So I can sell this on. Get a little bit of my money back. Uh... One that I don't think I had. The PlayStation 2, Crazy Frog Racer 2. I have the first game of this, it's kind of shitty, but... For two dollars, it's worth it just to have it. It's it's a weird game. It's, it's just a Mario Kart clone with Crazy Frog characters. And this one actually has pinball and dancing on it, so... I'm sure it's a winner. And finally, the game in the background. One that you probably all know the title of. One that I've actually been looking for a few years for this. I've just never found a copy that was in the condition that I would like and the price I would like. So to find this one for three bucks, I thought, yep, I'll pick it up and I'll give it a play. Shadow the Hedgehog. A spin-off of the Sonic the Hedgehog series featuring a character that debuted in Sonic Adventure 2. Three dollars, I was happy to get it. It is going to need a lot of cleaning. But the disc itself is good, the manual is good, and it's one to add to the PlayStation 2 collection, so I'm happy to get it. That was all I got from cash converters. I thought I did pretty good, to be honest. I thought I did pretty good. Got out of there just under 20 bucks, I believe. And I thought. You know what, I'll check out the op shops as well, see what's there. I found two DVDs in a... They're kind of in the same building. I think it's the St. Vincent de Paul op shop, but I don't remember. For three bucks, Triple H, King of Kings, burying everyone. I'm a wrestling fan. And Daniel Boone, Trailblazer. This was only a box, I thought. Yeah, I like my westerns. Alright, from there... Oh, all of this 
is from my local cash converters. I mean, I go there at least once a week, so I'm always there when they put out new stuff. I know when to go. And I managed to get some good items, and ooh, the best item of this pickup video is at the bottom of this pile. Forget Battle for Middle Earth 2. Bottom of this pile is the best thing in here, but I managed to get quite a few games, some PSP games, some PlayStation 3 games, some stuff that's a little bit older, so first thing I got, just for two bucks, for two bucks, why not? Call of Duty Modern Warfare Mobilized. I believe this came out when Modern Warfare 3 came out, like 2009. Yep. The first person shooter on the Nintendo DS, which uh, I played King Kong on the Nintendo DS, which is a first person shooter, and it's not too great, so hopefully this one is a little bit better. But it's all in there, and it looks good. A few PSP games, I gave them all a try, they're all very good. This one is pretty fun. Uh, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Heroes, this was $3. It doesn't come with manual or anything. Thing, but I gave it a try. It's a decent little fighting game. It's very simple, but it's fun. You get to play as all of the characters from the Naruto series, or so I assume. Also grabbed for $3. Uh, this is a very good game on the original Xbox and the PlayStation 2, so maybe it's good on the PSP, maybe it's not so good, but Spider-Man 2 for 3 bucks. I was willing to give it a try. And Spider-Man 2 on the Xbox and PlayStation 2 is a great game. Check it out if you haven't played it. Probably one of the better movie tie-in games out there. For two bucks, this was a great deal. This is one that I've been looking for. Ridge Racer 2. Love Ridge Racer. Ridge Racer is so much fun. Just classic arcade racing in a big 3D perspective. I love them. Still looking for Ridge Racer 6 and 7 on the PlayStation 3. I'll get them eventually. I've got to find them cheap, though. This is all complete in there, and this is very fun. If you're a fan of the Ridge Racer series, you will not be disappointed with this title. How many minutes do I have left on my camera? 33, I'm good. Also grab one. <laughs> I get this in pretty much every PSP lot that I get. Um, if I see if it's $2 or under, I'll always grab it because it's a quick resell for 5 Resistance Retribution. It's a good game. It's one that I finished a few times back when I originally had my PSP. It's a third-person shooter where you play as this guy in World War II battling against aliens. It's very fun. Very cool story, too. You find out like the aliens are like controlling people and making aliens out of people. It's fun. It's a good game. Uh, speaking of aliens and people battling aliens, also grab a game that I have played the other games in the series of. I've finished the other games in this series and I enjoy them very much, so hopefully this one will be just as good. Dead Space 3 for five bucks. That's not too bad, I don't think. But I like the Dead Space games. I like number one. I really like number two. Dead Space 3, hopefully it's good. Also enjoy Dead Space Extraction. That's also fun. Uh, hopefully the online pass hasn't been used, but that's in there. Now yeah, remember online passes. They died a hard death. Yeah, well played. it. See how it is. Hopefully it's as good as the other ones. Got some original Xbox games. Um, I don't have this one, that's why I got it. Bloodwake. Got some sun fading on the cover, but that doesn't matter. For three bucks, I was willing to grab it. It's like a boat vehicular combat game. It's a good game. It's very fun. And it's all in there. <sighs> also grabbed... This is one that I grabbed because... I had it when I was a little bit younger when I originally had the Xbox, or... Should I say my dad had the Xbox and I was playing it, and I would play it at his house. There, I would play it at his house. And he had this game, I would play it and think that half of the game was really good and that the other half was kind of shitty and it is The Hulk. And yes, it is based off the 2001 movie? 2003 movie with Eric Banner 
Um, not a good movie, but this is a surprisingly solid game. Half of the game just sees you running around, destroying stuff with ease as the Hulk, and the other half of the game sees you playing as Bruce Banner in a kind of stealthy game. You know, you have to sneak past guards and what, not as Bruce Banner, but I always thought it was weird because if the guards beat you up as Bruce Banner, it's a game over, you don't turn into the Hulk, and I thought, well, if you got knocked out or something, surely the Hulk would just take over, but nope, get a game over if you get knocked out as Bruce Banner, but it's fun to play as the Hulk, very fun to play as the Hulk. This one is actually in my system at the moment. So I'll take it out. I don't have my Xbox plugged in at the moment. Oh well. It's a fun game. Check it out. It's super cheap. I mean, you can get it for two or three bucks. And it's worth playing. <laughs> Another one that's worth playing for two dollars. I also had this when I was a little bit younger and I always thought... This is a game that should not be as fun as it is, but it's just so much fun. Cabela's Dangerous Hunts 2 for the PlayStation 2. For two bucks, that's a bargain for this. It's a basic kind of first person shooter. It's roaming around an open level, except that all of the enemies, or most of the enemies, you do get some human enemies, but most of the enemies are animals, so... You're fighting like wolves, you fight bears, tigers, and at the end of the game, you actually fight Bigfoot, which is awesome. So I definitely recommend this. It's super cheap, as is the first one. Check it out. That's complete in there. It's a lot of fun. <sighs> Hold on, let me grab a drink. <sighs> Thirsty work this game pickups. And then to round it off, we got from the vault, Sean Michaels for a buck. And then for five bucks. For five dollars. If you don't know what this is, unsubscribe right now. Right now. Because if you don't know Fat Albert's Greatest Hits, I don't want to know you. But this is so cool. I can love Fat Albert as a kid. And it's got all the discs in there. Disc 1, 2, and 3. And then it's also got a nice picture of everyone's favourite rapist. Yeah. Show's good though. <laughs> Bill Crosby aside, the show's good. Uh, greatest hits for five bucks. I thought that was so cool to get. In fact, I'm gonna watch this. Now, forget this uh, video game stuff. I'm gonna start watching this right now. So I got this two weeks ago. Had to go on a cruise. Had to go to work the last few days. And I just haven't had any time to do anything, so. I'm going to start watching this right now. Alright. For copyright reasons, I'm going to start watching this and... Uh, I don't think I'm allowed to show you guys any footage of it, so... I'm going to get out of here. I'm gonna watch me some Fat Albert. And I want you guys to have a good day. Have a good day. This is Seagull of My House bidding you farewell. Stay classy, everyone. It's good to be back. And that's all, folks.